Hi, my sunshine families. It's Miss Tara, and I'm bringing you another one of our fun STEM projects that you guys can do at home. I hope that everybody is feeling well and enjoying your time together with your families. This might be a fun one for our older learners and our younger, younger learners to do together. And of course, mom and dad can definitely participate. Okay, my question today is, if Miss Tara has two land masses and in the middle might be water, or maybe they're really, really high mountains. How do you get from one side to the other? You can't jump because there's water. Hmm, how do you think you could do that? What do you think that you travel on if you're going on vacation, or maybe you're going to see grandma or grandpa and they live far away? What do you have to cross? You can cross walking, or you can cross driving. What is that? What do you think that big structure is? It's a bridge. So today our STEM packet is gonna be on making our bridge. So Ms. Tara is gonna have the link. We are gonna make a bridge that holds pennies. You might wanna make a bridge that holds cars or tractors or blocks or anything that you have at home. So some of the supplies that you're gonna need, it says here, Lego bricks, wood planks, pipe cleaners, straws, you can use anything you have at home. And I know that right now, it's not like we're gonna run out to the store and buy a bunch of crafts. So Ms. Tara is just gonna use what I have here. And so I'm gonna work with a cereal box. I feel like I might be able to cut the sides of it. That might work. And Ms. Tara has some cups that I think I might anchor my bridge with. And then of course, Ms. Tara has my pennies, which are right here which is something we're gonna see if our bridge can hold and we're gonna count our pennies. And I also have some matchbox cars. I also have scissors and tape in case mommy wants to get the supplies. So Miss Tara's bridge inside my house today is gonna be a cereal box, our tape, our scissors, just some cups, pennies. Miss Tara's gonna have a pen and a piece of paper because we're actually gonna draw out our bridge. So on our next page, we have our blueprint, which is where we're obviously gonna draw the bridge that we want. You might want a draw bridge. That's one that comes up and down and it lets big ships go through. You might just want a strong suspension bridge. Any kind of bridge that you can think of, you might want a tunnel that maybe goes underwater. I don't know, but you can draw it here. Over here, you can draw your materials. Miss Tara would just draw my cups, my cereal box, my scissors, my tape, my pennies, you can put that right there. And then at the bottom it says, how many pennies does your bridge hold? So we're gonna fill that in. And then over here it says, what else can your bridge hold? And that's gonna be in the other pocket. So if we think about a bridge, it takes a lot of planning and designing to build a bridge. And it takes a lot of different engineers. And it also takes a lot of community workers. And those might be our structural engineer that's gonna make sure that our bridge is nice and sturdy and strong and safe. We might have a civil engineer that's gonna have to look at the two sides of our bridge. Is it rocky? Is it sandy? Is it muddy? Is it gonna be slippery? Is it like a cliff? Is it a sharp edge? What is the angle? We're gonna have a safety engineer that's gonna make sure that all of our workers are safe and that our bridge in general is safe for cars or people to cross. We're also gonna have our construction workers. Um, who else might help with our bridge? Let's think here. Hmm. Maybe somebody that might pick out our, the colors of the bridge, along with our engineers. Okay, so we must think, how long do we wanna make our bridge? So Ms. Tier is thinking, I'm gonna see, we're gonna make it as long as Miss Tara, Tara's cereal box. You can measure it if you want to, but you don't have to. Miss Tara is just gonna take our tape measure for my older learners that might wanna measure it. It is gonna be about 11 inches. Maybe we do both sides of the cereal box and then it'll be um, 22 inches. And then we can add a cup in the middle. I don't know. That's the fun part of designing our experiment. So we wanna see how long it'll be, structural engineer. Then what type of land is on either side of it? Is it gonna be smooth? Well, outside, Miss Tara is gonna do another one with you guys that's definitely muddy, like sloppy muddy. But in my house here, it's just gonna be on the floor. Miss Tara's got a blue towel. We're gonna to pretend that this is water. 
once our um, bridge is complete. The next thing is what materials are we gonna use for our bridge? Well, like every STEM experiment, we're asking a question. Can our bridge hold pennies? That's our question. Our materials, we've got our cereal box, we've got our cups, we've got our pennies, we've got cars, we've got tape, we've got scissors. You can have anything else that you want that you have around the house. You might wanna use construction paper, you might wanna use Legos. I know that you guys make Legos all the time in STEM class with Miss Tara's Legos. You could make a Lego bridge. Um, you could make it out of blocks. You could make it out of a Pringles can. You could make a tunnel bridge. You can use, use your imagination. Make it any way that you want. So number one is to design our bridge. So Miss Tara just took a piece of paper and I drew it out. And I am just going to have two cups on either side. And then I'm going to cut my cereal box. And I'm going to cut it just like this. Because for safety, I don't want my cars to fall off the sides. So I wanna make sure that there is a safety edge that keeps them on, just like the real bridges. The next is, how strong should our bridge be? Hmm. I think I want it to be at least strong enough to hold 10 pennies. So we're gonna count our pennies after we make our bridge and see if it can hold 10. The next is gonna be, what is gonna be the landscape on either side of our bridge? And is it gonna be sturdy enough to carry the weight of our bridge? So right now, Ms. Tears just got a wood floor, but when we're outside, it's gonna, it's gonna be mud on either side. It's gonna be kind of exciting. And next is gonna be to test our idea. So now Ms. Tears is just simply gonna start engineering our bridge because I've already drawn my blueprint. And you guys, mommy might have um, already um, printed these off. So if I look at the cereal box on either side, this is the side that I think I'm gonna use. So I'm just gonna cut it down like this, which will give us a ridge. And I'm gonna try to do it fast because when Miss Tara's videos get long, I'm afraid it's harder to download and I want you to have time to design your own bridge any way that you want. So Miss Tara's just giving you starter ideas and then you can run with them. Because if we think about engineering and we're doing a lot of engineering, we're also gonna do math we're also going to do a little bit of science because our experiment is can it hold um, our pennies and then our technology of course is going to be recording our data okay Miss Tara has now cut our box our cereal box so I took the two edges of our cereal box and you can see that they look like this just like this so now Miss Tara is just gonna try to open up the ends because I'm gonna have to tape them together. So I'm gonna open up the ends and I don't, I don't wanna take too long. Okay, so here's the ends, and here's this end. Okay. Okay, so Miss Tara has the two ends and now I'm gonna tape them together. Okay, so now it's this. And now if Ms. Tara wants to measure this, it should be about 22 inches, I think, but there are two tabs, so let's see. So we're at 24 inches because I think the two tabs. All right, now Miss Tear has my cups. So if I put it here and here, all right. I wonder if it'll be strong enough. So Miss Tara, let me show you. Here's my bridge. Hmm. I'm a little bit nervous about the center of my bridge not being strong enough, but we're going to test it and see. So now I'm going to take the two ends that are left over from my cereal box because I have to make a ramp for either side because it would be like mountain, mountain, and here would be our water underneath. And I'll just put our talon so it looks like water. So there's gonna be a ramp on either side to go up and to go down. So you wanna move from one landmass to another landmass. 
There's our land mass and our land mass. And then we have water in the middle. So Miss Tara's just gonna cut this. And then I'm going to tape it. And then we are going to see if it's going to be strong enough. And I'm a little bit nervous, like I said, that the center is not going to be strong enough. And we're going to have to support it. And now Miss Tara's going to cut this. Now you guys can take as much time as you want. Miss Tara's just doing it kind of fast because I want you to have time to design your own experiments. Okay, so here's our bridge. So Miss Tear is going to take our pennies and we are going to count them and we are going to see if our bridge can hold our pennies. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So our bridge did hold 10 pennies, but I can tell you that our bridge is going in like this. So I would be a little bit worried structurally if we put our cars on it, if our cars will be able to ride across our bridge. So Ms. Tara is gonna take our 10 pennies off. It did hold 10 pennies and I'm gonna put them over here. And now Ms. Tara is gonna take one of our cars, which is right here, and I'm gonna roll him up our bridge on this side. I'm gonna see, oh, well, it definitely went down again. So I feel like in order to make my bridge stronger and better as an engineer, a structural engineer, Ms. Tara is gonna put a cup in the middle. And I think if it was a shorter bridge, I might not have to put it in the middle. But I think because it's such a long bridge, because it's like 24 inches, that we're gonna need this in the center. So now Miss Tara is going to take that same car. I'm going to roll him up. Oh, it didn't buckle. And it looks like he's probably going to be able to roll down. And he did. So now Miss Tara is so excited. So here is a very simple bridge. You guys can make much more elaborate bridges. You could put some string. You could put some toothpicks on either side. Um, you could make a suspension bridge. You could make a draw bridge, which I think would be super, super cool to where it would come up. You could have string or pipe cleaners and then you could lower it. You could put boats underneath it and you could put your cars on top. Miss Tira has one, two, three, four, five, matchbox cars. And I'm gonna see if it can hold all five matchbox cars on our bridge. four, five. Well, it actually held it with no problem at all. So now Ms. Tara is going to do a different experiment where guess what? I'm going to take out the... Okay, for our little side experiment, Ms. Tara is just going to take out this middle cup and we're going to see what happens. And our bridge crashed. So, so much fun. Okay, so now Ms. Tara is going to show add on to your video some a bridge that I did outside which might be fun for you guys to do as well and I would also like to um, think about our experimental um, procedures so we asked a question could our bridge hold pennies it held 10 pennies then we got our materials together we put them on the side then we did our experiment we collected our data it held 10 pennies it held five cars it was 24 inches long not including the two ramps so you could make one that was much longer it needed three cups to, for it to hold all five cars if you only had two cups the our whole bridge collapsed so you can just think about all of your data so our conclusion was in general that our bridge worked and i know that you guys will come up with phenomenal bridges of your own and i cannot wait to hear all about them i miss you guys and i just hope everybody's doing great and i can't wait to see you soon bye Miss Tara has my supplies for our outdoor bridge. 
And so I bought with me two toilet paper holders right here. I'm gonna use these, I think, according to my plans that I drew, to put down on either side of my bridge. As you can see, Miss Water, Miss Terry has this water that is gonna be a trench. We're getting ready to have some concrete poured. So this was perfect for doing our bridge today. I also got a big piece of cardboard that just came out of a box that Miss Tara is gonna use. So when I think about what kind of bridge do I wanna make, well, for out here, I wanna make a bridge that's gonna carry my matchbox cars across it. So first, we had to draw our plan, which is what Miss Tara did. And then I looked at it and I thought, hmm, there's water here, so Miss Tara's gotta measure how far our bridge has to go. So if Miss Tara comes down here, where the water is, it looks like our bridge to go from one side of land to the other is gonna have to be at least 17 inches long. So now Miss Tara, just to use our measuring tape, remember we can measure with anything that we want so Ms. Tira is going to take this measure and I'm going to put it against our cardboard. <gasps> Ironically, which is very crazy, our cardboard is exactly as long as we need it. Now, I don't want my cars to fall off. So I thought about this when I drew up my plans. So Ms. Tira is just going to bend this cardboard up on one side and I'm going to bend it up on the other. So now I feel like our cars might not fall off if I bend it up. And then I'm gonna take my tape and I'm just gonna tape it so that they stay up where we need them to. I'm just gonna tape the two edges. And again, you guys have more time. You can design your bridge any way that you want. Um, but just because it's our video, I don't wanna take so, so much time that you just spend too much time watching me and not working on yours. And Miss Tara knows that there's so many cool community helpers that work on our bridges, not just our engineers, but also our construction workers and the people that hold those stop signs that protect our construction workers. Okay, so I taped the two sides just like that. Now I wanna anchor the two sides of my bridge using our toilet paper rolls. So all Miss Tara is gonna do is I'm gonna take my plastic spoon and I'm gonna dig it into either side. And it's pretty wet, so when we talk about a bridge that we want to go across water, especially for our matchbox cars, we, we realize that on either side, we have like rocky, muddy dirt. So in order for Miss Tara to do that, I'm just gonna dig this hole over here, and I'm gonna stick my toilet paper inside there. And then on this side, I'm gonna do the same thing. It's pretty wet, because we had some rain. So Ms. Tara's gonna move it over, and I'm gonna stick it in here. Oh, it's gonna be so perfect. Okay, just like that. Now, Ms. Tara's gonna take my stronger tape, which is just some masking tape that Ms. Tara had. I'm just gonna lay it across to see if it's gonna work. Oh my goodness, it's not gonna work. Okay, Miss Tara's got to make it shorter. Our paper isn't as long. So I'm going to move it to right here over this stretch of water. Let's see if it'll fit this way. Uh, it should. Miss Tara did not do a great job of measuring, huh? Let's see. Or I measured, but it just wasn't right. So the scientists were always changing our way. This dirt is a lot harder over here. So Miss Tara's gonna see if I can get it to work. Again, it's always trial and error, isn't it? We always work so hard in our STEM classes to get our different experiments to work, and when they work, it's so much fun. Okay, so now we gotta move this one down. Boy, we're gonna have to, and you know what? If you were with Miss Tara right now, and I wish you were, because I miss you guys so much, we would have so much fun making ramps to go up and across. Now let's see if it'll work. Okay, 
it'll work like that. So Miss Tara's now gonna take our masking tape, which is a little bit stronger tape, and I'm just gonna have to tape them on. So I'm gonna go under like this, tape it to there, according to my drawings. And then I'm gonna go under over here and tape it to this end. We gotta make sure that our bridge is nice and secure. And you guys at home will have more time to make yours just perfect. I just don't wanna take up all your time on our video. Okay. All right, just like that. Now our bridge is pretty secure. Then, Miss Tara's gonna take my, um, this is a paper towel holder, and I'm gonna use my scissors. I'm gonna cut him open, cut him in half. Mommy can help you with this, or you can use your scissors at home. Because we're gonna have to have a ring. Okay, so this is where we are with our bridge. So now we've gotta make a way like a ramp for our cars to be able to drive up onto each side of the bridge. So Miss Tara is just gonna cut this in half like this. And I'm gonna look at my car and I'm gonna have my car here. So I see that my car can ride in the middle. So I'm just gonna fold up the two sides just to keep our car and our people safe that are in our matchbox cars. Because a civil engineer always is thinking about the safety of the people that might use the bridge. If somebody wanted to walk over it, like maybe a bird or a worm out here, or a matchbox car. So Miss Tara's now got this super muddy. My feet are like stuck in the mud. So much fun. Okay, so now Miss Tara has a ramp for a bridge. I'm just gonna tape that on just so that the cars have a way to go. Tape it just like that. And then the sides are safe. And now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side so that our that our cars can cross on the other side. And then we're gonna test our, our model. We're gonna see if our bridge could stand up and we can put our cars on it. And this here is just gonna take a piece of tape. And again, you guys can play with this and modify it. You can make them bigger, stronger. You can make them much more elaborate or simpler. You could just use a tube here. All right, so we wanna see if our cars can go from one side of land, which this land is muddy, we've looked at it, to the other side, which is muddy. So Miss Tara has water that is naturally rolling under it. So if our cars fall in, then they're for sure gonna get wet. Okay, Ms. Tira's gonna do our test. I'm gonna drive him up and over, and he makes it. So our car can go all the way across. He wants to go to that side. Let me see if our other car can go. Let's try our other car. All right, so you know STEM, it's all about seeing. See how many how many cars this here only brought out three cars let's see if all three cars can stay on the bridge without it collapsing here's our other car okay so our bridge wound up being what do we say like 14 no 16 inches long and then we had a ramp on either side each of our ramps are about 10 inches and our cars do fit Three of them can stay. So our bridge outside did work. And I hope that you guys have a really good spot to make your bridges outside.